Hey everybody, welcome to Relieve Rose Tarot, it's your girl Rose, and I'm here to do another energy reading for you guys. Shout out to all the subscribers, I truly, truly love and appreciate you. If this is the first time that you have come to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and sit your ass down for a minute. <laughs> Alright, I hope everybody's having a great week. I'm going to get some messages from your person, so let's see what we got so far. I feel you leaving me behind, I wish things could be different. I knew exactly what I was doing. I feel you even when we're apart. I'm afraid to contact you. We need to let each other go and I love you. Wow, your person going through it. They having a dark night of the soul situation going on here. Like they are so sick right now. You have left the building or you're about to. They feel you leaving. What's going on here? It's some, wow. Denial, empathy, humor. Um. I want you to look at the lighter side of the situation here. Uh, whoever this is, just know that a lot of things were beyond your control. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could not control how this person was going to treat you. Um, but denial is here. Um, somebody needs to replace fear with insight and awareness and empathy. I open. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. Um I think your person might be getting on that path where they're starting to see that the way that they mishandled this connection wasn't fair to you at all. Um, they may be lighthearted when they come around you, if they do come around you, just to try to lighten the mood so that, you know, you're not still mad at them. Um, I don't know. Let's see what's going on here. Wherever you are, you are financially secure. And somebody is watching everything that you do, sweetie. Um, whoever it is, they want control over you and they can't. This is the same person. They can't stop thinking about you. They're watching you. So if you have social media, you are online or whatever it is that you do, they are paying attention. Um, they can't stop thinking about you. I don't know if you did something to your hair. I feel like you changed something about yourself because it was so fucking hot out. There's something different that you did. Um... There's a new insight here. Something changed. There's somebody still around your person though that knows that that your person still loves you. They know that they're still in love with you and they hate it. They want you to they want your person to hurry up and get over you. Um but your person is still addicted to toxic shit. You know, whoever this is, they're around for money. And that's why your person is always moving so slow. Like, they got so many people in their pockets. What is going on here? If you're feeling like there's something, like this person is, money's coming up a little short or something's going on there, it is. Um, this person may be spending money on others. I don't know. Let's see what's up. that's kind of strange like when it comes to there's something you need to trust your gut on here and if you know it's not good for you it's just someone here that you know is not good for you they move slow for a reason there's always a delay there's always something in the way there's always interference This person is having a hard time moving on from you. It's like they they'll they feel like everything that they ever want is with you. So that's why they don't necessarily want to let you go, but they don't want to let go of other people either. Um They feel like they can still fix this with you. They want you sexually like so much it's crazy i don't know you may be very beautiful whoever you are very handsome whoever this is to you they are so turned on by you like there is nothing that you can there's never a time where you look ugly you know or you you don't look beautiful to them like you may think oh my god they saw me looking like this this person adores you um uh, but at times they come off as if they can't stand you because of the way that they treat you 
it's like they put so many other things before you it makes you question if they even love you at all they have a lot of toxic behaviors that they need to shed um because it causes too much conflict in your relationship and it doesn't give you even give and take they want to do it they want to be able to shed this what's holding this person back they don't want to heal whoever this is they having a hard time going within and they want okay they want to heal but they need to just let go and just allow it to happen they want to stop lying as well like this person wants to let this go whatever this is but it's like they're running with scissors and trying to to fix something really quickly like spirituality and, and healing yourself and and knowing thyself that comes with time that's not something you can rush through in a month you know um i think they have a weird expectation in how to get you back um there are some things here that you don't know this is something you're working on yeah this person is is really I don't know I, I what you may not know I don't know whose story this is but you your person might be working on getting you a ring and you don't you're looking at them like are you are you nuts like we're not even speaking why the hell would you even are you serious this is um this is kind of <laughs> like your person likes a lot of drama this is a very dramatic person um they they don't they release and feel entrapped here um they don't whatever they got to do to get to you they're gonna do you're the you're their happiness the sun is here you could be a leo you're the person that makes them happy so they'll do this rebirth to make to get to you it's like all right i'll shed the shit just to get to you um this person is damn fool i don't know how else to say that um The problem is they're not looking at what they have. They still would be very self-indulgent when it came to you. So this person still wouldn't give you what you were looking for in a relationship. You know, they're still going to be self-indulgent. They're still going to leave itself. They're still going to expect you to carry all the burdens when it comes to this relationship. Um, because they're, they're going to move like they're single. You know what I mean? So you're going to be the one to follow up with phone calls. You're, it's like you're going to be this person's goddamn assistant. Ten of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and King of Cups. Exactly. This person doesn't, and it's in reverse. This person really doesn't know how to show you love like that. Um, they know how to provide if you need something, but they don't know how to provide you with the emotional stability that you need um, at all. They, they just don't know how to in order to build a happy home with you, you know? They're not going to take accountability for their actions and the way that they behave when they're not with you. And that's because they behave as if they're actually single. Three of Swords is here. This person, like, this person invites drama into your relationship. They invite the shit, you know, like, it's almost like this person just moves as if they don't have a, a, a other person or a, a significant other. Like, they just don't think. They just leap. And it causes you a lot of pain. Uh, but judgment is here and the judgment is there is not going this this is being released this this relationship six of cups it causes you too much heartache it causes you too much um pain it puts you in a lot of regret and depressed energy so the the base the story here is it's over there's nothing else to do They still want you to take a chance and try to work with them though, but there's nothing more for you to do here. Um, let me get some more messages and we're gonna get out of here. This person really wants to keep trying, but it's kind of a situation where I think you've outgrown them. And they, I, I really feel like whoever this is, they honestly may try to offer you a large commitment, like a key to the house or a ring or just something that, something to try to lock you down and keep you there with them because they don't want to lose you. And you know this. You're like, no, you're just giving this to me because you don't want me to walk out of your life. You know what I mean? Um, 
So you're gonna feel it and you're gonna, the universe is here. The universe is saying, trust yourself when you make that decision. Don't regret anything. Be truthful and honest when you make that decision, when that person comes to you with this. Speak up for yourself, the throat chakra is here. Do not be silent. You're in this relationship too. Or in this, if this was a relationship, it was a relationship at one point, it seems like you guys are actually separated. But at one point, this was a relationship, you need to speak up for yourself. This person wants a higher commitment. Don't just go into it because they said it. Is that If it's what you want, take it. But if it's not, speak up for yourself. This is going to change your life. Um, if you're feeling, oh, this person feels trapped in fear when it comes to being able to love you again or being able to have you back in their energy. But um, it's a, it's, you're protecting your energy and you're trying to make sure that the choices that you make are better choices this time around. And it's, it's, it will give you recognition and reward. However, it's going to keep your person feeling trapped in fear because they, they, they're fearful of you actually giving the love you used to give to them to someone else. Okay? Um, that's literally the best way I can say that. And it's going to stay like that because you have your fulfillment of wishes coming because you endured so much with this person that at this point, everything that you're getting right now is deserved. You're going to be getting that money that you were trying to get in. You're going to get that business that you were trying to get. You're going to bring that new love in that you're trying to get because you you give love out to the world all the time. So it's, it's going to come back to you tenfold. However, this person is still trapped in fear because of a lot of things that they don't shed. They got to leave a lot of this shit behind in order for them to ever get another chance with you. But right now, I don't see it happening. I'm going to pull one more card and we're going to get up out of here. Happiness is here. I am aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. I'm going to leave it here. Whoever counterpart this was, they taught you a hell of a lesson. They taught you that you are in control of your own happiness. That you can't rely on a man to make you happy. You can't rely on a woman to make you happy. You have to make yourself happy. Literally. You have to be the, the, the driving force in your own happiness or you'll never be happy is you'll be too busy waiting on everybody else to bring it to you and that's such a waste of time okay all right guys i hope that resonated with you thank you so much for hanging out with me don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one thanks bye